first. Let's turn it over to Heidi Stang for today's City by City. Iron Range in a meeting is set to discuss a construction project through Aurora. All that and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. We start in Minnesota where the state climatology office is looking for rainfall monitors. The community collaborative rain, hail and snow network includes over 20,000 volunteers nationwide who measure precipitation right in their own backyards. Rain gauges are standard among these volunteers and leaders say participant data is a critical source of information. They add that amounts can vary widely over just a short distance so the more reports the better. Volunteers do receive training and over the past four years Minnesota has led in recruiting. If you're interested, we'll have sign-up information on our website. Next, we head to the Iron Rage, where the United Way of Northeastern Minnesota is expanding its Smiles United program. This expansion features a partnership with Children's Dental Services and the establishment of the Northeast Minnesota Dental Task Force. They hope to bring a new clinic to the region. Other needs the task force will discuss include workforce and crisis funding for anesthesia not covered by insurance. Additionally, they're working on that new clinic or a hub for on or underinsured individuals. Once established, the clinic will serve people of all ages ages regardless of their insurance status. And we wrap up in Aurora for a public meeting later this month. The St. Louis County Public Works staff will host a meeting on Tuesday, March 19th for input on County State 8 Highway 100. Nearly two miles of the road is being reconstructed through Aurora. The county and the city are partnering on this project, which is scheduled for 2026. The city will replace utilities while the county fixes the road. The meeting can be attended in person or virtually. And as always, if there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email to citybycity at northernnewsnow.com and it might be featured as we take you around the Northland city by city.